For centuries, people have relied on plants to soothe us. However, most of the modern Western culture has now cast away these methods in favor of alcohol, energy drinks, and placebos, while the South Pacific and Southeast Asia regions continue to harvest plants like kava for their many benefits. Kava is a plant from the South Pacific, and you can only get it in the Pacific, so it's unique to the area. Kava has been harvested for thousands of years. It originates from Vanuatu, and then from Vanuatu it has moved all across the Pacific. Vanuatu, you have probably around 80 islands, all of volcanic origin. The economy of Vanuatu is agricultural. We get a bit of tourism, but not much. And kava has been the green gold of our economy, becoming the first um, revenue for the small farmers, way ahead of any other crop. Kava, commonly known as the great protector, is one of nature's most profound and healthy substances. Believed to have a wide range of effects, from energizing to soothing, used traditionally for recreation and wellness, kava is the most sacred substance in Vanuatu, grown organically and toxin-free. These ancient plants are sustainable to farm because you have tens of thousands of individual farmers that are producing this. This is not a large commercial operation. This is supporting you know, hundreds of thousands of, of people in areas where there is really no other things that they can do to, uh, to produce, and, and it's all organically farmed. But just in this area alone, there's over 10,000 farmers. This is the largest export crop for the country, but you have, uh, in the country total, you have about a little over 30,000 individual farmers that uh, are supporting their families by uh, producing kava, which is incredibly more profitable than any other crop that they could grow. The way kava is consumed in Vanuatu is fresh. That means kava will be harvested, cleaned in water, and then pounded. Pounded, mixed with water, squeezed to retain the juice, and drink like this. Kava is uh, important to Vanuatu because we look at kava as a, a drink to relax and to forget our worriness. Like if you think about something and you like have a problem, then drinking kava is but to get your worriness away and then you, you can feel like free. Kava will relax you without any bad side effects. It's not addictive. You're not gonna get drunk on kava. You're just gonna be relaxed with a normal peace of mind and clear mind. We extract kava by uh, taking the, uh, these roots from the plant and drying them on the racks and then uh, grinding that into powder and that concentrates the kava lactones, which is the, uh, the magic ingredient. The kava lactones themselves act as a natural fungicide for the plant, and then when consumed by humans, it acts as a um, productivity enhancer and a social lubricant. Botanic tonics have harnessed the power of kava to create a line of superior tonics, designed to fit into any daily routine and add the positivity you need. Its product, aptly named Feel Free, will enable anyone to live life to the fullest while giving a boost of energy. I first came across kava over 30 years ago at a kava ceremony in uh, Vanuatu. Uh, it was a very memorable experience that I, that I never forgot. And I remembered kava and the feeling that it had very similar to how I felt when I consumed alcohol without the downside. And I decided to try to develop a drink that uh, I could use personally to uh, replace alcohol. So Feel Free is a replacement for both caffeine and alcohol. And I know that sounds like two different things, but it's, it energizes you while at the same time uh, gives you social lubrication. Feel Free is a unique and potent blend of the earthy and spicy tones of the ancient tropical plants of the South Pacific and Southeast Asia, utilizing organic and premium ingredients that contain an energizing experience. So we take a lot of effort in uh, finding the best strains of both uh, kava and kratom, which is the two main plants that we use. Uh, the ratio is, is mainly it's, it's kava, it's 10 to 1 kava over kratom. 
Uh, so this is the most important plant. We make sure that you know what we're getting is sustainable. We make sure that it's organic. We make sure that it has the right ratio of cobaloctones to it. And the only way really to do that is to journey to the jungles in the most remote places in the world and look at it yourself.